In today's episode of The Villain's Corner, we will be going over the story of the Headless Horseman, a popular holiday boss that appears only for Hollow's End, but has history with WoW's lore nonetheless. The Headless Horseman was once a paladin of the Silver Hand named Thomas Thompson, and was there when Arthas called for the calling of Stratholme. Thomas refused the order along with Uther, and went to go protect a nearby local town instead, as the whole countryside was having a scourge problem. But the town he was protecting was sent infected food by Baron Rivendare, a future Four Horsemen, and someone Thomas thought he could trust. And the people he was protecting turned on him as they became mindless ghouls, and he was forced to kill them. So Thomas reported the incident to his fellow paladins, and was very distraught over the betrayal of Rivendare. So the paladin sent him back home to spend some time with his family so he could recover. Then, when Uther was killed, a call was made for all remaining members of the Silver Hand to come together to help fight the Scourge. So Sir Thomas personally put his family on a boat that would sail to Kalimdor with Jaina, safe from the plague and the Scourge. Then, for the next four years after, he helped fight the Scourge, and eventually becomes a member of the Scarlet Crusade, along with the remaining members of the Silver Hand. The Scarlet Crusade at this time was ruled by a Dreadlord, who convinced all of his followers that even normal, healthy-looking people could secretly be Scourge in disguise. So, the Scarlet Crusade went out, purging villages of normal people if they thought they were suspicious. While Sir Thomas was participating in purging a village, he recognizes his daughter right as he kills her, and realized he had killed his wife as well, even though they were supposed to be on another continent. Turns out that there was a storm that forced the boat to turn back, and his family spent their time in this village instead of heading back to Kalimdor. Sir Thomas, ever the family man, goes crazy after finding out he killed his own family and gets locked up by the Scarlet Crusade. While locked up, he cries and howls and would chant creepy rhymes. He really grew fond of rhymes. The Scarlet Crusade thought he could still be useful if sent loose on the Scourge though, so they put him into battle. But, while he did kill the Scourge, he also started killing other members of the Scarlet Crusade, because to him, everyone was the Scourge in disguise. So the Crusade cut off his head to stop his rampage. Later, the Dreadlord in charge of the Crusade stole his body and raised him as a Death Knight on Hollow's End, as part of one of his experiments. And now, he goes around killing people because he thinks everyone is evil, and he's just being the good guy trying to stop them. All while rhyming the entire time. Prepare yourselves! The bells have tolled! Shelter your weak, your young, and your old! Each of you shall pay the final sum! Cry for mercy! The reckoning has come! <laughs> then, when players kill him in the Scarlet Monastery, Thomas will appear in his human form as a ghost, and will say, For ages I was lost. Now, finally, I see how dark my soul had become. Meaning, he gained his lost sanity back in death, and was able to pass on peacefully. This end have I reached before. What new adventure lies in store? Alright, and this is it for the story of the Headless Horseman. Again, big thanks to Rachel for the amazing drawings for this video. 